Hi guys, welcome back to a new React tutorial. So in this video, we take a look at these photos that are generated by AI or artificial intelligence. And we will also learn how to use its API as well. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so now before we get into how to use its API, first take a look at the website. So here you can see that it says unique and worry free model photo and it enhanced the creative work with the photo that are generated completely by AI. And here you can see that we can find all of the model images uh, through the apps or it via the uh, API. So now uh, we just uh, scroll through the website very quickly. You can see that it's uh, created from scratch by AI systems or artificial intelligence systems. And uh, we can just use this without uh, worrying about the copyright or uh, all of the infringements, claims, stuff like this. So here you can see these are some of the samples, Asian woman, uh, European girl, adult, all of these photos. And uh, here we can just uh, quickly create like a free account. Okay, so now um, let me just uh, browse the photos for now. Okay, so here, these are all of the free AI generated photo. There are more than 2 million at the moment. So here, let me just um, select. So we have the option to um, change the background or select this photo. It can be like generate a uh, random one or it can be with the current filter so now let me just go with the all for all face uh, for this is the head pose just leave it there so here we have all of the males photo so let me just um select the uh, female for sex and then uh, the age let me just apply one by one to see the differences so here these are all of the images generated with the female gender and let me just try the young adult okay so here these are the sample for the young adult and this is the adult Uh, what about the child one? Let's just see this one. Okay, so this uh, the child that generated by AI, and this is the middle age, middle age, and then the other one, infant. These are the babies. Okay, so um, the other one. Let me just try probably just uh, choose the young adult and then oh we can also select this as well so this is for white people and we have the option to select the Latino these are the Latino and then the other one let me just select Asian so these are Asians people um, what about the other one black so these are the photos that's a lot photo as you can see here and eye color we can also select the eye color as well hair color hair length with a short or long let me just select long one so here you can see all of the sample and then uh, the emotion we can select either neutral or joy let me just select the emotion as joy okay so here these are all of the photo that I have selected so um, these are all of the sample so here you can see um, some of the photo cannot be seen as seen here so what I can do let me just uh, try to reset this I can just uh, click on this man just to show you how can I actually download this and uh, we can also select the background as well so this is the background 
whether you want the background or not. And then um, what's next is that uh, you can just click on the download button right here. And uh, you can see that I have already created my account. So um, that's why you can see this. Let me just click on the login. And let me try to click on the download button again. So here you can see that uh, for the free usage, um, you can see that uh, this is the at the link attribute when we actually want to use this a uh, photos and this is only for the personal use only and if you want to uh, also you can also pay for this as well for commercial use so let me just uh, quickly download this and here's the image all right so here this is the image actually the quality is quite good as well let me just um, go back here and now let's just take a look at its API so as you can see that I have already uh, logged into using my account now let me just navigate or click on the API tab here so here um, these are some more information and here this is the API itself just click on the get started for free okay so here we are in the uh, account and then this is the API dashboard just click on this one here and here this is my API key um, also these are some of the API uh, reference uh, how can we actually hit the endpoint to get the uh, image um, so here uh, this is the URL and this is the authorization what we need to have is to have the uh, authorization so in this case I'm going to show you using the react so that's uh, something that we need to have and also this is the keyword uh, the API dash key plus my um, API key and this is the link that I can just use this uh, this is trade limited face so this is some of the example and there's a lot more here okay so now um, let me just show you what I got on the uh, react so here this is a very simple text I just say hi and you can also find the code right here as well so here just a very simple application saying hi uh, now let me just um, quickly show you what are the uh, library that I use for this uh, tutorial so let me just pause this video for now Alright, so the uh, required library, uh, I use the ASIOS for this tutorial. So here, um, you can just quickly copy this and then paste it into your uh, command prompt and try to restart the React application again. So once you install this, let's just, uh, let's just close this one. And let's just go back here. What you need to do, just import the ASIOS from ASIOS right here and then uh, let me just quickly type out all the codes and then we get back to this okay so you can see that I use the use effects so what this does is that when I try or land on the page or the page loads um, the ASOS will first get called okay so here let's just take a qu uh, quick look at this one I use the use effects I need to import it up here as well and then uh, for the ASOS I use the get request and here this is the URL that you just seen on the uh, website so which is right here this one here and then uh, the header I use the header with this uh, authorization and the same format as this one which is coming let me just show you real quick right here the API does key slash my API key and then uh, if it's successful it show it in the console log otherwise it show me the error message and let's just um, refresh the page and then see if we actually get the response from this okay let me just go back here and try to inspect this console let me just uh, refresh this page alright so here you can see that we get this response we have the faces and with this uh, array um, the 
they are tens of this and then we have the number from starting from 0 up to 9 and we also get the URLs here as well so each URL it contains 5 of this and so uh, you can see that this is 32 this means that this uh, when I click on this URL to get the image this is in uh, the 32 by 32 pixel while for the last one right here this is uh, 512 pixel so here this is the link and um, I think that we actually need to navigate into this last one right here which is the uh, 512 uh, let me just um, quickly do that now so here we have the faces let me just navigate here we have the rest.data.faces and then what else uh, we need the first one so let me just um, select the zero and then next one is the urls dot urls and then what else um, we need the not zero this time this time would be number four let me just try the number zero first uh, to see um, the quality of the image with the 32 pixel and then what's next is to uh, 32 here so 0 and then 32 so I think that's pretty much it let me just save this and then try to see the result again alright so here it is uh, we actually get the image URL let me just um, open this in a new tab and here it is you can see that this is 32 by 32 pixel it's not clear at all um, let me just change that to 512 so um, to do that let me just uh, go back here from this URLs and then let me try the fourth one fourth so number four here 512 to access this Right, so here it is let me just try to open this in a new tab and here it is so you can see that this image plus this one is 32 pixel the difference are quite huge so um, now we get the image URL right here so let me just um, try to show it on our react application here as well Alright, so um, I need to set this uh, data into a uh, store it inside the variable and then we are gonna use the variable and try to show it down here so um, to do that let me just use the use state and then right here just use const image set image equal to use state inside this quotes and then let me just set the image right here and then uh, copy the whole part into this I can either comment this out or just um, leave it as it is for now and then uh, here this is the image itself okay so right here I need to use the image tag img and this is the source um, right here it will be the variable this one should be the image alright so I think that should be fine for now let me just save this and let's just find out the result refresh things and here it is so we have the image shown but uh, one thing is that it is not center uh, right here I just want to have this center as well alright so let me just uh, go back to the code and try to align this in the center style equal to we use display uh, flex and then justify content uh, center and then this next one is the align items 
equal to center as well. All right, let's just um, take a look at the website again. And here it is. It just align the center. And one thing is that um, we keep seeing this man again and again, the same one. Okay, so now let's just do that. Uh, right here, we got the parameter, different parameter here. Uh, we have the versions, model versions. So um, I'm gonna go with the third one, which is the latest version. So how I'm gonna do that, L right here, um, let me just take a look at the example. So very easily, uh, just just use the question mark and then with this versions. So right here, question mark version equal to three. And let me try that again to see the result. Okay, same man. Let me just close this and then uh, let's see what's next is the emotion, gender. Um, let me just use the skip the emotion for now. Uh, let me go with the gender. So with this, I can just use this and symbol. Uh, gender equal to female. Let me try that again. Okay, so here it is. It's working. Um, the age. I'm going to go with the age. Young adult. And then the ethnicity. Let me just try equal to Asian. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let me just save this and try it again. Alright, so it seems to be working fine. Alright, so what about if you want to see the new image every time you refresh this page? Well, here there's another one for the uh, parameter. So when you scroll down here, you can see that for the order by. Uh, by default, this is select as the latest, uh, in meaning that this is the latest image. But uh, you can also select the oldest one or the random one here as well. So what you can do, you can just quickly uh, copy this parameter and put the value equal to uh, random in the uh, endpoint. Then you will be able to see the new image every time you click on the refresh page here. Again, um, there are more options here. You can see the per page. Uh, by default, this is 10. You can just change it to 1 or this page here as well. Hair color. Um, this is the color of this hair and we have the um, emotion here and this version here as well. So there's a lot of the parameter you can play around with. And again, this is just an example. You can just change the value uh, based on your preference. And I think that pretty much it for this uh, tutorial and I hope you learn how to use this API and one thing to note is that if you use this API with the free account you can only make requests to this uh, 50 times per month if you want more than that you need to upgrade your plan also if you have any question let me know in the comment section below uh, don't forget to uh, like this video also subscribe to this channel for more video as well until then see you guys in the next video